Well, the number of Star Trek cast and crew, they're called alumni, has risen to over 100. And I wanted to, wanted to defend the Star Trek alumni because they've been under attack for organizing against Donald Trump. Even though it's not a, an official, they're not claiming that it's an official group against Donald Trump. There's still some people who don't like the fact that they're supporting Hillary Clinton and opposing Trump. Now ordinarily that would be a valid argument, I think, because you would want to defer to the, to the fans, to the fandom and not get too political, not to politicize the, the franchise. But in this case, Donald Trump definitely stepping over the line. And I think that's particularly felt by minorities, by immigrants, by Muslims, LGBT, any, any type of minority group, and even women by the way he talks about women and degrades them in many cases. It's just beyond what you would expect in a normal political uh, election. I mean, yes, we've had George Wallace before, but he never was a, he never was a, a Republican nominee. And although he was definitely racist, even he didn't go as far as Donald Trump and alien, alienating so many people. And so I think the alumni are justified in saying that Star Trek didn't stand for this. And Star Trek, unlike a lot of other film and TV franchises, has always stood for something. So if they're going to stand for something, how can they just let this go by? How can they be silent? So I think they are justified in taking this stand.